Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Quarantine Crafts for Children with the Wichert Stovall Public Library. So underneath this box are a variety of materials that most of you will have at home that you can use to make this particular craft. Shall we see what's there? All right, let's lift the box. Okay. So it looks like we've got a pair of scissors, two popsicle sticks, a hot glue gun. Now you don't need to have hot glue. If you have white glue at home, that's fine as well, tacky glue. We have our handy dandy markers again. And you don't need ribbon per se. That's all I could find here at my place, but you can use any kind of rope, whether it's binder twine, whatever you happen to have at home. And then this red material here, once again, there's a variety of things you can use. If you've got pretty colored paper, if you've got um, cardstock, um, I just had some dish cloths, sort of like a J cloth, and I use those and cut them up. Okay, so those are all the items we're going to need to make our kite. Okay, so I put my ribbon nice and long. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue our two uh, popsicle sticks together in the middle. And then I just um, use the scissors to cut out a square around their edges. And then I hot glued the sticks to the uh, square of material. And I also colored with the markers. You could use paint if you have it, or probably even... Uh, Pencil crayons might not show up on the wood. You could try it, but definitely markers and paint. Do whatever pattern, just be creative. So all that stuck onto the material and then I just added my rope at the end. Hot glued that down there as well. And as soon as that's drying, it doesn't take very long. You can run around the house pulling your kite behind you. Okay, so that's our second edition of our Quarantine Crafts for Children. And once again, if you do make this, please let us know. You can post it on our Facebook page, Instagram, whatever, whatever you would prefer. We'd love to hear how you've uh, managed with it and love to see your final results. Okay, till next time.